Ghanaians on social media have poured outrage over the pricey internet packages rolled out by the telecommunication service providers. Latest analysis by A4AI on mobile broadband pricing for the second quarter of 2019 shows that the cost of mobile data for consumers in low- and middle-income countries has fallen. However, the story seems to be different in Ghana. The huge backlash many believe is because Ghanaians feel telecom operators have taken them for a ride. The hashtag Save Our Data was launched to start a conversation about internet problems in the country. The Social Security and National Insurance Trust NIT has, as of October this year, collected arrears to the tune of 439.6 million Ghana cities from employers. Out of this amount, 208.9 million Ghana cities was collected through prosecution. This was disclosed by the Deputy Director General Operations and Benefits, Mrs. Lorette Koko Otri, at a seminar organized by SNIT in Kumasi. The Textile, Garment and Leather Employees Union has commended the Ghana Standards Authority over its decision to clamp down on people selling substandard African wax prints. The union in a statement said, these substandard products which have flooded the market pose serious health risks as the quality of chemicals used in the manufacturing of the prints are unknown. The UK's first major mass litigation has begun with about 100,000 motorists seeking redress from Volkswagen over the diesel gate emission scandal. Lawyers representing owners of VW, Audi, Seat and Skoda cars told the high courts the German firm misled consumers. A major security weakness in Google's Android software has led cyber thieves craft apps that can steal banking logins a security firm has found. The bug lets attackers create fake login screens that can be inserted into legitimate apps to harvest data. More than 60 financial institutions have been targeted by the technique, a survey of the Play Store indicated. Google said it had taken action to close the loophole and was keen to find out more about its origins.